You can assess the amount of solar radiation available to any surface of your building design in the Revit application as well as in the InSight web interface. You can use the Solar Analysis tool in Revit or generate InSight and visualize the PV potential in the InSight model viewer. This information is helpful for determining the solar radiation load as well as the potential for generating energy through photovoltaic panels on any surface of your model. First, let's open a Revit model to be used for this analysis. Open the Classroom No Shades Revit model. Next, let's verify the project location so we're certain the sun is set accurately. Go to the Analyze tab and open the Location tool to confirm the location of the project, which is in Manchester, New Hampshire. Click OK to apply these settings or close the window. Next, let's open the Solar Analysis tool and choose the type of analysis to be performed. Click the Analyze tab, open the Solar tool from within the InSight panel, select the type of study to be conducted. Let's choose Solar Energy Annual PV. You can customize the study settings by clicking the gear button to the right of the study type menu and then Enter assumptions to be used for the study. Next, let's select the model surfaces to be considered in this analysis. Select the surfaces to visualize the results. From the Surfaces menu, you can choose All Roof Exterior Surfaces, All Mass Faces, or a selection that you make in the Revit model. For this analysis, let's choose All Roof Exterior Surfaces. Note that if you're working with a mass model, you might want to choose User Selection, then use the arrow tool to add or remove surfaces from your selection in your model. You can modify your selection at any time by clicking the arrow button in the Solar Analysis dialog, then add or remove specific surfaces using the arrow tool, and finally click the Finish button in the Options bar when you're done. Now we're ready to run the Solar Analysis. Click the Update button to start the analysis. When the analysis is complete, the Solar Analysis window will display the PV energy production predicted for the assumptions in this analysis, the predicted energy savings, the PV panel area that makes sense given the assumptions in this analysis, as well as the PV payback period. The Revit model displays a color-shaded visualization of the solar potential on the model surfaces. You can customize the way the results are displayed by expanding the results settings, the downward arrow at the bottom left-hand side of the Solar Analysis window, and choose the information display and the units used. You could also export these results as a CSV file. Next, let's prepare this model for insight analysis by setting the energy settings. Go to the Analyze tab and open Energy Settings. In the Energy Analytical Model section, select the Building Elements mode. This setting will depend upon what type of model you're analyzing. In our case, we're analyzing a model with building elements, so this selection makes sense. If you're analyzing a conceptual model or a mixture of a conceptual model with some building elements, choose that selection instead. Finally, click OK to apply these settings. Now let's create the energy model. Go to the Analyze tab and click Create Energy Model. If prompted, confirm that you want to create the Energy Analytical Model. Now we can generate insight for this model. Click the Analyze tab and click Generate. Then select Use Existing Energy Analytical Model. 
click OK to send this model to the cloud for analysis. When the inside analysis is complete, we can click Optimize to access and see the results. With the InSight results displayed, we can visualize the solar performance in the InSight Model Viewer. Open the Visualize menu and choose PV Analysis. The Model Viewer displays a color-shaded visualization of the PV energy potential on the model surfaces. You can select different surfaces of the model to display the surface area, the relative percentage of the total roof area, the energy generating potential of that surface, and the payback period of that surface.